Hey guys, I'm Mitch, and this is Cooper, and we're back here at the Yellow House Project. Coop, what are we going to do today? We're going to dig up the fish. With, what are we going to use? An excavator. We're going to use the excavator, and we're going to dig this fence up, so check it out. <music> All right, so we're gonna take this fence out. So this fence right here um, is be just around the old house here. So you can see the house is here, and then the fence is there. My grandpa bought the lot next door and then built this garage, so the fence doesn't go all the way around the yard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take this fence out here, and we're gonna move it about 60 feet that way. So when we move the fence 60 feet that way, this will be um, on the south side of our property and we'll have the full property fenced in, in the backyard so the kids, uh, maybe a future dog or whatever, can be out here and play. So we're gonna po pull all these poles up. We're gonna take uh, this fence out and we're gonna reinstall it uh, 60 feet south. So that shed, we know it's an eyesore. That'll be on a future video. We'll take care of that, that shed. Um, I have already pulled the one corner pipe here um, so that I could get lawnmowers in and out this summer. Um, I didn't wanna push this whole backyard push lawnmower. So uh, I've taken that pipe out. Now we're gonna take these other four pipes out. So, or three pipes, we'll leave the corner pipe in and we'll go south from that point. So here we go. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these loops off of here and take the chain off so we can take, put this down and we'll disconnect the chain link from the actual post and then this top piece. These top pieces just pick up off of there. So you can see that's just a, a cap that goes on top of there. So we'll pull that all off, we'll pull that top beam off, and then we'll actually pull those posts out of the ground. There she is. So we got two poles out here. I used the thumb on the mini excavator and kind of crimped these poles, um, but they've already got sackcrete and everything else around them. So new poles are not that expensive. So it's not worth trying to save those. I'll just go get some new posts, um, put them in new sackcrete and uh, set them up that way. So I've um, got one more pole here to yank out. Um, we've been taking care of you know those wires, you gotta take some wires that are wrapped around each one of these poles. Of course, there was some that attached to the top post. So, uh, taking care of these, um, just reaching in here with my pliers, pulling those out, and um, of course, using a good pair of pliers, like these Wildy tool pliers, made right, right, right in Hiawatha, Kansas, right in smack dab USA. Uh, Wildy tool um, for all your product needs they do quite a bit of american manufacturing so give them some publicity they gave me these pliers for free so uh definitely if they're going to give me a free pair of pliers i'm going to tell you how great they are because they are they're actually really really good pliers guys um they make a lot of stuff for craftsmen i believe so checked wildy out and uh, we're going to get this last pole out here and uh then we will take it loose down there there's just some bolts so we actually will take those bolts out for this side down here. And once those that is out, then that whole piece of fence will come down and we'll have that all opened up. We'll move it down there to uh, that south side of the fence. So check it out.